Hi, I'm Martin Rudeau. I'm here with Tammy and Carla. Uh, we're going to go some some of the basics of using competitive race walking technique in a fitness walking program. I'm Carla Tilson Wilsonberg, and I've been I'm a double lung transplant, about 14 and a half years old. I've been a member of Team Transplant for about 10 years. And I'm Tammy Sadesky. I received a kidney and pancreas transplant 26 years ago and a second kidney eight years ago. And I have, I was an original member of Team Transplant that started in 2001. This posture is important for letting your whole body move smoothly, getting the best workout. Also uh, helps you avoid any injuries, which you can get from bad posture. Uh, even walking slowly for fitness, so that it's pretty simple, and it's a really easy thing to do when you're walking. You can walk it. You can use a wall, of course, just or a stop sign pole, a telephone pole, to check your posture. What we're looking at is your rear end, your shoulders, and your head are all touching the wall with about the same amount of force, and your chin is down. So what we're looking at here is with her chin down. See, her chin's up a bit. So it's something she can easily work on. Head touching back touching, and then we don't want too much space. This is perfect. So we don't want to, to arch the back. You have to make your back uh, flat against it and keep your rear end relaxed, shoulders relaxed. This is relaxed. Every The muscles are just hanging on your spine, your shoulders. You're not forcing yourself to do it. A lot of people do their arms fine in front. And then the other arms trail off and back. So we want to keep this at a 90 degree angle all the way through. So don't feel like you have to push your arms in, but what we don't want is chicken winging out. You know, so like if there's a tunnel next to you, when you start your arm swing, your arms would never come out and hit the walls. If you feel like you're forcing it, it probably means you're trying to be too perfect and try to get it just right, which is a good goal, but let it come being relaxed. Relax. Try to go through the whole thing with your all the muscles in your back, particularly your shoulder. All relax. Let it just swing. We want to avoid any side-to-side -side motion. Go ahead and one more time. So they're moving more, but like I said, they're swinging around the axis of your spine more and more, as opposed to going side by side. So you want to find the exact straight length for your body. Now the three of us are different heights, but our, we'd find the right straight length for us by using arm swing. And the right arm swing, guys can go ahead and do this in place, is holding your arms perfect. Good, good, right here, good, Carl. 90 degree angle, and let your hands come right about to the midpoint in your chest, right about here. Usually what, you, what people have the challenge with is swinging your arm back far enough. Don't try to force any of this. But do try to keep your hand from coming too high. What we're doing here is letting you take a little bit longer stride and go a little bit faster, a little bit better workout by elevating the forefoot. And I want it, your foot needs to elevate like a platform, not by curling your toes up like a Persian slipper. Reach for the ground with your heel, not reach out, reach up with your forefoot. 